G'day, this is Mr. Thompson, and this video is live from Mr. Thompson's workshop. Um, I've just been tinkering over the holidays and thought I'd make a quick uh, video to show you what I've been up to. Um, this is my projectile motion demonstration apparatus thingy. <laughs> um, I'm about to teach my Year 11 students about projectile motion and of course one of the important concepts that students need to understand is that the vertical motion of an object that's moving horizontally and then falls is the same as the vertical motion of an object that is dropped as it falls. In other words, you can analyze the vertical and horizontal components of motion of a projectile independently. So I wanted to demonstrate that. Um, so what I've got here is I've built myself a ramp. So there's a, there's a ramp, just a bit of a bit of uh, U-channel aluminium and I've hacksawed, there you go, I've hacksawed um, the edges there so I can bend it. So, uh, so I can drop a ball down the ramp like so, oh, okay, I'll take that out in a minute. Um, and I've built another little device here with a bit of electronics that will drop a golf ball at the same time as the golf ball falls off the edge. So what I've done here is using my 3D printer and a little bit of Arduino electronics, um, at the end of my ramp, I've put a, built a photo gate here. So I've used these little guys here I've used. I went to JCAR and that's an infrared LED and an infrared photo transistor uh, and used those to create a little, I've 3D printed some arms there and there's my photo gate. So when the light goes through the light beam there, sorry, when the ball goes through the light beam there, uh, it'll break the gate, it'll detect uh, when the ball goes past. And that then connects to some electronics here. I've got an Arduino there. Uh, just powered by a 9 volt battery and over here I've got a power transistor because the uh, to operate my drop mechanism. Let me show you what my drop mechanism is. Here I've, I've used a solenoid so I bought these from China so a solenoid is basically an electromagnet uh, with a movable core. You can see that that core there is movable so if I power that, if I put some power on that, here we go, yeah there you go so when you, when you energize the coil, um, it moves that uh, that core. So that's the solenoid, and that that's used to activate my little ball dropper here. Let me just quickly show you my claw. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so I designed it in Inventor and 3D printed it, uh, and this is the assembly. So that's my little bracket that the solenoid fits in. I'll just I'll just uh, hide that, and there's my. Uh, um, chassis or frame if you like that it hangs from. I'll hide that just so we can see what's going on. So I built this little key here and when you lift that key up, in fact let me just turn it around and when you lift the key up like that you can see the claws can then open and when the claws open the ball can fall out. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I, I designed that in Inventor um, and then um, <laughs> printed it on my little 3D printer, where is that? On my 3D printer over there, printed that. Um, and um, yeah, so hopefully what should happen is when the golf ball rolls down the ramp here, in fact, let's give it a bit of a run. If I push this over the edge there like that, over the edge there like that. So theoretically what should happen, I'll just connect up the power. Here we go, let's drop the golf ball. It's hard to do video and demo at the same time. All right, here we go. So what should happen is when the ball goes through the photo gate, the second ball should drop and they should land at the same time. Let's see how it goes. Well, that didn't work. It'll work better if I connect the power up. <laughs> okay, let's try again. It's going again, take two. There we go, and I think that worked. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> 